say thank you for the initiative to take such a, let's say, specific training course. Of course, as a Ministry of Culture, we see that the notion of art market and looting of uh, cultural objects and so on is not only of, of interest of us, but also as well as legal practitioners. And I think that there is kind of romanticized uh, imagine, uh, imagining uh, of, of, of these kind of things as a, something which is like uh, from the movies, like Thomas Crown Affair or something like that. However, in reality, it is the thing which we lose the most is not the object itself, but the knowledge associated with it. Like, for example, if it's an archaeological object, where was it found, who found it? Uh, what was the context of the object and it's basically the most valuable resource the knowledge what we lose what this object can say about our past and history so thank you for this I think very interesting session and I hope that it was useful for everyone so uh, the course was very inspirational uh, hearing different views on how heritage is perceived as if we are speaking about the heritage uh, so, uh, passed down from generation to generation and if we are speaking about the history for 100 years and even more and how we are perceiving our modern creative expressions that might become a heritage uh, in years to come. So it was a very interesting reflection and seeing these different views and environments uh, staking uh, conditions, how it could evolve and possibly in the future in legal terms, both for the heritage com uh, communities as well. And uh, the seminar is also very important and the continuation of the seminar in terms of our legal practice here in Latvia as we are about to adhere to the UNESCO 1970 Convention which comes along with uh, actual implementation measures and uh, uh, provisions that come along with it and the way how uh, professionals are going to implement it and deal with it. And on the other hand, it's also interesting from the point of view of intangible cultural heritage. As for the first time, we are having our own law on ICH that very much deals with the communities and the intellectual property of communities. So it's going to be very interesting to see how it evolves and it's very good that professionals can come together in such seminars and discuss these matters and to track the way uh, the discourse evolves and, and to be able to deal with their uh, regular problems they solve every day. In my opinion, one of the most beautiful definitions of what uh, cultural heritage represents for us is given in the Faro Convention of 2005, and it states, cultural heritage is a group of resources inherited from the past, which people uh, identify as a reflection and e expression of their constantly evolving values, beliefs, knowledge and tradition. And uh, so this value aspect I think is uh, uh, the, the aspect that is more and more present in the way how we talk about our cultural heritage, including cultural property, and translation of this value through law, uh, uh, through law that governs our, uh, our mutual relations is of, uh, of great importance. That is the reason why we uh, have to, why we should talk about it.